Good morning everybody, it's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of stocks that I'm looking to trade today on the 26th of March in 2019. And we're also going to be taking a look at what the stock market futures are looking like right now with about 34 minutes left to go to market open. So let's hop over here to my Safari tab very quickly and we can just take a look and see where the market is standing as of right now so with about 30 minutes left to the open the S&P 500 is currently up about 0.5 percent up about fourteen dollars and twenty five cents the Nasdaq composite up about forty dollars up about 0.54 percent as well and the Dow Jones is up about hundred and thirty five dollars up about 0.53 percent so what this is telling me guys what these futures are telling me right now is that the market will actually, after I refresh it here, it's down about 0.48, 0.45%. But anyway, nonetheless, it's around 0 0.4 to 0.5% up right now in terms of the futures. And this is telling me that the market has broken out of that resistance that we were talking about in yesterday's video, which is a huge bullish sign that we could potentially open up green today. It's looking like we are going to potentially open up green today and push green for the first couple of hours here for the first hour or two. That is what this is telling me, right? And another thing that I'm seeing is that a bunch of the large cap stocks that we were talking about in yesterday's video, like Apple and video, we see Tesla here. They're all up a pretty sizable amount pre-market hours. They're all up between 1% to 3%, and those are actually the three stocks that I'm looking to trade today. So let's just hop into those, starting off here with Tesla. Tesla actually got some news about 12 hours ago that the SEC... And uh, the shareholder case is uh, the shareholder is dropping the lawsuit against Tesla. So this could be an, uh, a catalyst here today. You can see here the judge dismisses shareholder suit against Tesla. And for those of you guys that don't know or don't recall what happened here with Tesla, um, Elon Musk went on Twitter again, you know, doing his antics, and he tweeted the production for the Model 3. I forget exactly what it was. He said it was going to be like 500,000 units for the year of 2019 or something like that, which clearly violates the SEC rules and his Twitter, um, you know, uh, the, the Twitter uh, regulations that were set against him, right? Because every tweet that Elon Musk has to uh, send out or he wants to send out, they have to be monitored by a person that was appointed to monitor his tweets, right? From all these uh, antics that, that have been going on on his Twitter from months ago. Remember when he tweeted that 420 private uh, tweet? Ever since then, his tweets needed to be monitored and he obviously got around that monitor somehow you know around that person that monitors his tweets and he sent out that model 3 tweet which got him in a whole little debacle there um you know with the sec again and the legal aspect of things so now that that court order you know now now that that lawsuit got dismissed this could be a catalyst now for tesla to start running back up and I was actually watching Tesla yesterday regardless because we were towards the bottom of this channel here that you can see on the 184 hour chart let me show you guys here right if we extend this a bit you can see we were towards the bottom of this channel where we've been bouncing over the past couple of times really the past three times over the past couple of weeks we've been you know holding this level holding this level holding this level and now that we sold off again we held this level a couple uh a weeks ago really last week we popped up to 275 we sold off and now we're maintaining that same level roughly this morning as we popped back up to 265 you know roughly right now pre-market hours so what am i waiting to see now in terms of tesla i want Want to see if the shares are going to run here on this catalyst of the judge dismissing the lawsuit you know it could potentially happen maybe the stock doesn't react but this is what i'm going to be watching in the morning right we're going to see whether or not tesla is going to pop up to the 50 simple moving average resistance here that's been a resistance over the past couple of weeks if it does that let's say from 265 up to let's say 270 273 potentially would be the uh the point of resistance there in terms of tesla you know that could be a nice little 3.5 percent margin of profit um you know in terms of 
of Tesla there. So that is one thing I'm watching, uh, you know, in terms of Tesla, T-S-L-A, that's at the top of my watch list today. And yes, that did rhyme, guys. So let's just talk about the next one I'm watching here, which is Apple. So you guys watched my video yesterday. We all know Apple made a couple of huge announcements yesterday. And I was talking about how I wanted to swing trade Apple. I didn't take any swing positions towards the end of the market yesterday, which I'm kind of regretting right now because the market is green. But yesterday, I wanted to see and I wanted to wait to see what direction the market was going to push, right? Are we were we going to push out of that resistance that I was talking about. And if we take a look at the SPY very quickly, this is what I was talking about, right? We can see over the past two trading days from Friday and Monday, there was a clear resistance on this little downtrend, um, you know, uh, trend line that I drew for you all here, right? We can see we topped at 281 on the SPY, topped at about 279. Yesterday, we were struggling to get out of there. So I wanted to see if we were going to get out of this and also bounce on the 50 S that we were talking about here. Well, this is the SPY, but the SPY correlates to the SPX because it's an, uh, an ETF that tracks it. But if we see on the uh, SPX, I wanted us to bounce here and push to the upside before really determining that upwards direction before me taking the swing trade. And what we see pre-market hours here in terms of the SPY is that it's uptrending here, which means the S&P 500's up, which means the S&P 500 is bouncing on that level of support that we were talking about, which means these stocks that I was watching that I almost took a position in yesterday, they're up a pretty big amount now, about one, two, three percent, um, you know, throughout the three couple, uh, throughout the couple ones that I'm watching here. So in terms of Apple, guys, let's go back to Apple. We can see Apple's up pretty nicely um, right now. It's up to about $191.50, which is really nice. We saw the pullback from $195 down to about $188-ish. We held that older resistance as a new support. We're bouncing on the 50 simple moving average here. So I think this could be a very good play up to $195. And with this good news, let's say it acts like a catalyst today. The stock didn't really react yesterday, but let's say the stock reacts today, which it seems like it is. It might be following the market, guys, here. Don't get tricked out. But let's say the stock starts to run. You know, we can get 195 And if we continue to the uptrend, we break out of 195 You know, $200. I see Apple getting there, um, you know, pretty soon in my personal opinion here. So Apple, that's probably the number one stock I'm watching, although it is the second one I'm talking about here. So Apple number one, Tesla probably number two, and, uh, you know, NVIDIA is going to be the next one I'm watching here as well. So let's just take a look at NVIDIA chart and nvidia was also one of those that i was about to take a position in last night or really at the close of the market yesterday at about 173 dollars i'm kicking myself right now for not doing that because we can see nvidia is up a pretty sizable amount right now it's up let's see probably like three percent yeah about three percent from the close yesterday which i'm pretty Pretty mad at myself for not taking a little position there. But again, I wanted to wait and see what direction the market was pushing before taking a position. Because let's say the market were to push down, you know, that position would most likely be red because some of these large cap stocks, although not all of them get influenced by the overall market, a lot of them when the market is down, the SPX is down, you know, those stocks are going to follow as well. So you know, NVIDIA, guys, now that it's all the way up to $180, ideally now, you know, I would love to see, if we're hopping on this 20-day chart, I would love to see a bit of a pullback, maybe back to 177 178 And I do think that is possible. I do think that at the open of the market today, we might start to see some selling from those that did actually end up getting in overnight. You know, we might start to see some profit taking, you know, dropping the stock down. And that would be a good ideal entry point for me to hop in long here up to the 185 next resistance. That is the ideal goal for me 
right now but another thing could be happening here guys we see another resistance from back over uh, the past couple of days at 178 179 roughly where we are right now so let's say we don't get that pullback let's say we consolidate on top of this old resistance as a new support let's say for the first hour of trading we do something like this we consolidate here and then we start to climb back up that could also be a point of entry for me because at that point that's going to tell me that we're continuing to run an NVIDIA and we're not going to get that pullback that I want, right? And at that point, let's say we start to fly up here and I don't get in, I'm just going to wait all in all for the pullback probably tomorrow or the next day. I don't want to force it and get in at a bad price. But, you know, if we do consolidate, I get in at 178, that would be ideal. The more ideal would be to get in at 176. But let's see if we get the pullback, guys. So NVIDIA, Apple, Tesla, those are the three main ones at the top of my list. I think Tesla and Apple have pretty good catalysts this morning. You know, the uh, all the news, the announcements, the services from Apple that we got yesterday, maybe they'll influence the stock's price today. Maybe not. And also Tesla dismissing that lawsuit. That's pretty good news in my opinion. And, uh, you know, that could be sending up Tesla stock here this morning. Let's just see how it all ends up going down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell. I make videos every single day. Most of the mornings I make a video when I can. And every single day later on in the day, I make a market market update video, trading update video, going over the overall market, how it reacted, news, stocks I'm watching, stocks I ended up trading, stuff like that. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Again, I appreciate all you guys for watching. Good luck today. If you're not in the Discord chat, it's 100% free. Link down below. Get in there. I'll catch you all in there, and I'll see you all later.